Hey friends, how are you guys? Welcome back to another video and hello if you are new. Today's video, I am gonna be doing my new weekly cleaning reset routine. Um, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about how I'm doing that and what I'm doing on each day so that I can keep our house nice and clean throughout the week and just making sure all the cleaning tasks get done and nothing gets missed. So if you need to create your cleaning list or want to do a cleaning schedule um, for the week like I am starting, I'd love to have you watch this video. And if you like this video, give it a like, thumbs up, and we can clean along together today. You like You'll see it throughout this video, it's uh, multiple days of cleaning to show you that I do do different cleaning tasks on different days. Um, but this day I was just starting by emptying the dishwasher and my son loves doing the dishes, um, sort of doing the dishes. He likes playing with water, rinsing it, things, you know, playing in the water basically. Um, so we were emptying the dishwasher and putting some new dishes in there. And then I was going to start on our laundry. I was doing a load for um, myself and my husband. And then you'll see later I'll do um, the kids stuff on different days. And again, I'll explain that all later. But this is my favorite cleaning um, laundry detergent and scent booster from the wellness box. Um, if you haven't heard of them, definitely check out the link in my description if you are interested. And now that the laundry is started, I am going to just make our bed for the day. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be more of a, I'm starting a new cleaning routine, trying to get, um, yeah, just, I feel like I do better when I'm on a, like have certain cleaning tasks for certain days. So, um, I'm going to try this. I did a little bit of this last week and it worked pretty good. I feel like we've just like have had a lot going on. So I feel like if I stick to a routine, that'll kind of help me just make sure the house is always cleaned up and picked up. So, um, I think Sundays I'm going to do, um, laundry and mop. So I'm going to just do mostly our clothes on Monday or Sundays and then mop all the floors. And then Tuesday I'll do the kids clothes and vacuum. And then Wednesday I'll do our clothes and mop again. Thursday, I'm missing a day. Basically I'm going to do every other, um, Monday or Sunday through Wednesday. And then on Thursday, I'm going to do whatever little bit of clothes that we have left um, between um, myself and Derek and the kids, do a little load and then um, clean the kitchen, like a good wipe down the appliances and um, make sure the sink isn't all de deep cleaned and the countertops and um, cabinets if they need to be wiped down. Make sure everything in the kitchen is really good and clean. And then Friday, um, I like that I did have been doing all of our bed sheets one day. So I'll clean all of our sheets one day unless the kids um, don't necessarily need them washed. Then I'll just do ours for sure. And then all of our towels as well. Um, and then bathrooms too, I'm going to do on Fridays. And then um, Saturdays, hopefully I won't do anything. So then um, Thursday... And Friday, I feel like we always kind of mop 
at least in the main area of the kitchen in the dining room. And then I'll probably vacuum my guests would be um, on Saturday if I feel like it needs to be vacuumed. But that's going to be my routine. I'm going to see how it goes this week and I'll take you along on my cleaning week, how it goes. And yeah, so we'll start with today, Sunday. So I'm working on our laundry. I was showing you I was cleaning up the kitchen after lunch. The dishwasher was ran last night. So emptied all of those dishes out and um, was putting the ones in the, the dishwasher, which, you know, that's just kind of a thing that you have to do throughout the week as well. So um, just kind of keep you in my cleaning routine this week and show you how that is going. And I'll do a little recap at the end of the week and share how it all worked for me. So I, like I said, just switched the wash over and now I'm going to do a quick workout and, um, when the laundry is done, I'll put that away. So that'll be it for today. Oh, and I got a mop today. So I'll probably do that, um, after my workout, I'll mop. So I'm going to do that in just a minute. So workout first, then mop. <laughs> This day um, I made some roast in the Dutch oven and it always leaves it looking real dirty so I I love cleaning this because it's so satisfying and just seeing how clean it actually gets after um, I've definitely learned that the cleaning paste is definitely my go-to for cleaning this it just gets all of the stuff off super easy so I've been using the um, scrub daddy um, cleaning paste. And I love the scent of this. It's like a citrusy smell and some dish soap and just scrubbing it really good with um, a scrub mommy bra uh, sponge and you can see all of the stuff comes off super easy. Like I'm not scrubbing super hard and it's not taking super long. So if you have any um, stubborn pans that you just can't get clean, definitely check out this paste. I highly recommend it. So almost always after I clean this um, pan, I have to deep clean the sink and because it is white, it stains super easily. So I have to keep up on that with the um, paste. It works really well to get the stains out. So using that and some dish soap and my scrub mommy bra or scrub mommy sponge, I get almost all the stains out and all of the hard water stains. Right now that the kitchen is all cleaned up, the dining room is all cleaned up and the floors are mopped, I am putting away some of our laundry and just putting, hanging that up and putting it back 
where it needs to go. Usually this is the part that I hate the most is putting it away. You know, I, I don't mind actually doing laundry, but putting away is always hard for me to keep up on. I usually have at least one load in the laundry room that needs to be put back in people's closets. Just what you do, you do to me. Play my emotions like a pair of puppet strings. Did it ever occur to you, my heart's more than a toy? Please go easy on me, babe. Send message out. All right, we are on day two now, cleaning up the living room so that we can vacuum. And Quinn was in a cleaning mood with me. We put on a cleaning video on YouTube, and so that was helping us get our booties moving. So I am just cleaning up all of the mess that was on the floor, and you can see she was using her little vacuum. Um, I love watching the kids use that. It's just too cute. But we are pecking everything up, putting it where it should go um, or on the couch, and then um, going to vacuum the carpets. Love, oh, love, what I won't do. Oh, you got me chasing waterfalls. Oh, you got me. I was getting the vacuum out of their closet and I just I had to keep this little clip in here of her vacuuming in the living room all by herself she is just too precious when they want to help clean sometimes it makes the task go a little bit longer but you gotta let them do chores so they know the importance of responsibility optimistic these days i just don't know pick a fence in the valley i hope it's losing its hold you know the mother girls will love you like i do can't afford to give up on you and you know i wouldn't do that to you you know i want to treat you that way no i've been I recently got these leggings off Amazon and the reviews were great and they were on like one of those spring deal kind of sales that they had not that long ago and I am definitely um, obsessed. They are my favorite springy summer color. Um, I've not, I'm not a huge pink girl but I love hot pink so <laughs> or at least the clothing trend of hot pink it's super cute. So Definitely um, comment below if you want the link to these because they are buttery soft. I know everybody says that when they try to influence you to buy something, but they truly are the softest pair of leggings that I owned, I'm pretty sure, and they're super comfortable and they have a ton of different colors. Um, but yeah, definitely a fave for the spring and summer. Oh, you got me chasing waterfalls. All right, day three of cleaning. This is Tuesday, and I actually, um, I kind of posted that in the schedule. I moved the bathroom cleaning to Tuesday just because I didn't want to do so much on Friday and then the weekend. So I moved my cleaning to cleaning the bathrooms on Tuesday, and it has worked really good the past couple weeks. Um, it just gets more stuff during done during the week, and I have slower days those days um, with. Quinn she doesn't have a lot going on um, that day with we just have dance class in the morning so it's not like we're out busy um, so definitely it can manage doing that along with the mopping and vacuuming and laundry so I was cleaning up the bathrooms and this was not a week that I was cleaning the shower and the tub but I really try to keep up on that every couple weeks I that's like my least favorite thing to do is cleaning the bath in the shower 
but um yeah cleaning the bathrooms now and getting everything all wiped down and all the dust off the counters and cleaning the cabinets as well I noticed um especially on ours our kids like to come in here and open all the drawers and the cupboards so there's little hand prints especially on the black it shows up a lot but I do love the black so like I said cleaning the bathrooms now and getting those all nice and clean Does anybody else have that? Maybe it's just because it's like a tight corner, but around the toilet always gets super dusty. So I just was like, you know what? I'm going to just spray the whole floor down here and get it nice and clean because our mop vacuum doesn't get um, back there very easily. So I was just wiping it down and I couldn't get over how dusty it was back, back behind the toilet and just around it. So your reminder, make sure you're cleaning all around your toilet, even in those tight spaces. So like I said, this day was Tuesday, so I was mopping the bathrooms. I Sunday, I mostly just did the main areas of the house, um, and then this day I was going to make sure, since I was cleaning the rest of the bathroom, that I was mopping the floors as well. So this is the view of the beautifully cleaned bathroom. I am still obsessed with the walls. I love how they turned out, um, the black um, board and batten with the creamy tan, um, above it. It just, I still absolutely love the bathroom. Anyways, now we are on to the mud room. Every once in a while, it just looks like a disaster zone. It needs to be, everything just needs to be put back where it needs to go. All the shoes, coats, and just the random stuff that gets brought in here and then just sits in here because it's kind of just like a catch-all space, honestly. So here I am just putting everybody's shoes back, the coats back where they need to go, and going to vacuum and mop. And every once in a while, I have to wipe these down really good. I don't know if it's just because it's the first seat or if it's just because it's my son, but this one is always the dirtiest. It's crumbs everywhere, sand everywhere. So really had to scrub this one down good and get it nice and clean. Um, the kids, obviously, they sit up here to get their shoes on. Um, so there's always sand prints. So yeah, cleaning this all up, wiping it down, and we'll be moving on to mopping soon. There is so many pairs of shoes in all of our bins right now with it being spring. Um, the weather here in Michigan where I live is either you get like 30 to 40 degree days and then random days of like high 60s. So you could wear um, like rain boots one day, tennis shoes, sandals if it's really warm and it's just yeah you and the kids literally have I don't even know at least 10 pairs of shoes in each of their 
um, bins. And then obviously Derek and I's are a lot bigger, so they fill up quicker. But those, yeah, I wish I, I could find a bigger bin maybe. I don't know. You'll have to let me know if you have a mudroom kind of cabinet like that and how you store all of your shoes. But I'm definitely excited for summer to clean out all those big bulky boots and all those tennis shoes that we don't need. So now we are on day four in this day. I'm trying to think. So this was um, Thursday, I believe. Um, I didn't need to show you me doing laundry more. We all do laundry. Um, so this is Thursday and I was definitely in the mood to clean this day. So I was doing a good deep clean of the kitchen and wiping that down really good and wiping all the appliances down good. And you'll see my biggest thing was the stove. Um, it just gets spilled on obviously super easy with cooking on it. So definitely was taking my time wiping that all down and wiping the island down as well with the white shiplap. You can see scuff marks very easily with the, the bar stools right there. The kids kick it. So wiping this down and getting to cleaning the kitchen. Are you somebody who takes everything off the counters and cleans them off? Or are you just um, someone who cleans around the things that are always there? I'm definitely the person who usually just leaves stuff and cleans around it, the most used spots. But this day I was in the mood to move some things around. So I was taking everything off and putting it on the island so that I could kind of rearrange things. Um, I am definitely that type of person who likes to rearrange things often. Um, you can ask my husband. He notices that probably monthly that I do that. Somewhere in our house I move things around. Um, but yeah, just moving things around now. And I, you'll have to let me know if you have ever used the peel and stick um, like backsplash. I would love to do that on the back of our, just like the L-shaped right behind the cabinets and under the top ones just to have it easier for cleaning. And like if we ever spill anything or splash anything up, I would love to have just like simple white subway tile looking peel and stick um, so if you've ever done that, let me know how it's worked. Um, we have done the peel and stick flooring in our laundry room and it has held up really great. There's a couple of them that kind of shift, but it's where the washer and dryer are. So, I mean, that creates a movement, but anyways, you will have to let me know if you have used it and how it's held up and if you like it, but yeah, now I am just moving things around now kind of figuring out to where things will work good and you know just rearranging things <laughs> Thank you. 
So here I am using that cleaning paste again, and I was just using that in a damp um, microfiber cloth and scrubbing it, and it wasn't working super great. So then I got my um, scrub mommy sponge. This one I had to throw away um, soon, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to use that to get it nice and clean, and that worked so good. And then I used the damp cloth to wipe all that way, and then you'll see me use my multi-purpose cleaner just to make sure everything was nice and clean, and this the stove looked so good. I couldn't get over how clean it looked. And then, you know, of course life happens and I made, um, food and bread. So everything just got dirty again, but it was so satisfying to see how clean it actually got. And here I was just taking off the, um, knobs and just wiping those down good. You know, I never did this on our old stove, but you could definitely tell that they, because of the other side we get sprayed on and they just don't get cleaned as much so I took them off was wiping everything off and they actually weren't bad but um, now I am cleaning the racks which also I have not done yet and this paste work I'm not kidding you definitely have to look into cleaning paste or cr making your own if you want to do that too um, definitely check it out because this got like all the scuff marks off all the dried on stuck on crumbs and food i definitely will be doing this um more often and just to make sure our appliances are staying nice and clean oven is officially deep cleaned. Now I am on to wiping down the microwave, cleaning the inside, the tops, um, all the buttons, the sides, everything that gets touched definitely needed to be wiped down. I probably should have did this before I did the stove just because, you know, crumbs fall on there. But anyways, getting it nice and clean. I, I love looking at the appliances after they're all clean. It's so nice. I just wanted to show you real life. So my kitchen is getting really clean, deep cleaned, you know, Wiped on the counters, the appliances. I'm gonna do the fridge next, but reality, this is my living room. You know, Easter eggs, food on the table, real life. So, gotta take it room by room and I'm gonna finish the kitchen and then we'll move to the other mess. Like I said, real life, you know, it may look like my whole entire house is clean um, from this video, but, you know, life with kids or just, you know, living your life simply, your room, your house does not stay clean all the time. Um, so just a reminder that, you know, if we just keep picking away and tidying things up, our house will stay clean and we're just living our lives and as long as we're enjoying it and picking away at our cleaning, it's totally worth it. It's not worth stressing over. So that is your reminder. Not Life does not have to be perfect. Your house does not have to look perfect as long as everyone is happy and just living their best life. That's all that matters. All right.
right and last on this day was mopping because I wanted to just make sure the floors were nice and clean after wiping out all of the cabinets and the countertops and the appliances, all the crumbs. But I just wanted to say that I appreciate you so much for watching my videos. Um, and I hope this gave you some encouragement and motivation to start a weekly cleaning routine and a schedule that you can stick to and it's okay if you need to move things around um, but I hope it gave you some motivation to tackle your to-do list and we could clean along together. I will see you guys next time. Bye!